and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play This War of Mine. At the end of last episode, we had just gotten back from another scavenging trip, and unfortunately, Katya is still sick despite us having given her pills. But we are going to take Marco here, and I'm kind of tempted to make another bed, so that way all three of them can sleep at the same time. But actually, I'm remembering that Bruno should be good to get up, so we're not going to worry about that. I am, however, going to make another one of these. I'm going to border up one more wall. And what are we missing for this? Why can't we make it? It's not saying that we're short on anything. Are we short on these? What are we short on? We're not short on anything. That's weird that we can't make it. Interesting. I wonder if you need to have the whole place bordered up, maybe? That's kind of weird. Okay, we are going to make, we're going to make Bruno get up. So get up, Bruno. Bruno, get up, man. There we go. So make Bruno get up, have Marco go and sleep. We're gonna have him border up one more place since he is just hungry currently. So make that, and then we need him to eat and then make another set of food so that way everyone else can eat. And is Katya very hungry? No, okay, good. She's still on the second day of hungry, which is good. And can you run to that? Oh, okay, I see where it's broken now. It's just the roof. I don't, how would anyone get through there anyways? How would anyone be like, oh look, the roof has a hole in it. Let's try to raid those people. I feel like you wouldn't really even be able to see that from the ground. Plus it's in the backyard. Okay, anyways, getting over that. So we're gonna have him fix the roof. And then like I said, eat food. And then I think we're gonna have him chop down this area as well. Okay, that's a long description. I'm not gonna read that. <laughs> Go in here eat up your food and then actually I want to have him check to see if there's any more places to border up and then maybe check to see if I can make that wall or not it's kind of weird or not the wall but the door it's kind of weird that it won't let me make the door and how are we doing on fuel we only have five fuel right now um, I might actually I'm not entirely sure where I want to go tonight last time we vis visited a new place it didn't unlock anywhere new for us, so if it doesn't unlock anywhere new for us tonight... Okay, so now we're short on stuff. That makes sense why we can't make it now. Didn't make any sense why we couldn't make it before, though. Interesting. Okay, what do I want to make? If I make this, we can make some new things to trade with. If we make this, we can get some more meat. I think I'm gonna do this. And let's go ahead and put it, hmm, let's see here, let's put it down here maybe, or over here? Let's put it over here. Once it becomes a little bit later, or we're a little bit more secure on water, we will make a moonshine area over here, and we'll probably put water stuff over there. I kind of want to keep everything within like two levels, so that way I don't always have to have them going up and down. So, with this table being built, we'll be able to make cigarettes, which will make Bruno happier, because he'll have more things to smoke. And then, of course, we'll have more options for trading, and we'll have more of a secure item that we can trade every time. And speaking of the trader, I feel like we should be getting a trader soon. But I'm not entirely sure. Once he gets this broken, then we are going to have him make food. Okay, um, can we... Oh, that's Marco. That's Marco that's up. I thought that was Katya. Okay, we are gonna have you check up on this. And we only need one weapon part for this. How many do we have? Okay, we have just enough to make the pistol. So the question is, do we want to make the saw blade? Or do we want to make the pistol? Because we can make... Okay, let's check. Do we have bullets? If we don't have bullets, then there's no point in making that. We have zero bullets. Okay, we are making the saw blade then. Because it's completely pointless to make a gun if you have no bullets. So we're going to go ahead and make that. And so that means that we are hopefully going to be going back to the looted gas station tonight. Assuming that we're, we can still get to it and we're not snowed in from it. We're also going to have Bruno run down here and make some more food. And during the rest of the day, we're going to have Marco work on some cigarettes. Because we do have a little bit of tobacco. Now that we have this table up and running, I will probably go ahead and grab that tobacco that we left behind. 
last time at the gas station. And we'll go ahead and just make four of these again. All right, the food is done, so we're gonna have Marco eat. We're gonna have Bruno come down and finish up the cigarettes. We can only make four right now, but like I said, we're gonna grab some more tobacco, so that shouldn't be a problem for too long. We will have Katya come up here and eat, so that way she eats, because <laughs> that would be a good thing to have her do. So we're gonna have her eat, and then I think we are going to end the day. We'll have finished up the cigarettes as well. And Katya is now done. Let's go ahead and end the day. Our furnace is full, so we don't need to worry about that. And boom, we got two new places. We got the shelled school as well as the brothel. We unfortunately cannot visit the brothel right now because it is snowed in. And the shelled school has some food, a huge amount of materials, lots of meds, and lots of parts. I'm going to still go to the looted gas station, though. Because uh, I think that would be a good idea. We're going to have Bruno guard... And I'm gonna have Katia sleep because she is sick and I hope that we don't get raided We still don't have the enforced door But we are completely patched up and I think I am going to take this Because I have a feeling that some of the stuff behind the bars that we're gonna be cutting down today I have a feeling that they might be locked. They might not be but I'm going to take that with just in case. And the saw blade will break once we use it. So we don't need to worry about that taking up any space. And let's go ahead. Oh, okay. There is a sign down there that we will need to unlock it. Okay, good. Okay, I'm really glad. I really wasn't sure if I was going to need the uh, crowbar or not. But I'm really glad that I took it. And I'm also really hoping that this has some good stuff in it. I hope it was worth it. I hope it was worth the gun part, and I hope it's worth losing the inventory slot for the crowbar. And what do we have in here? Go ahead and check it, Bruno. Or not Bruno, you're Marco. What do we have in here? <sighs> Honestly, this is kind of disappointing. If we didn't already have a pistol, this would be fantastic, but honestly, this wasn't worth it. <laughs> oh, that really, really sucks. Okay, we're gonna take, we'll take the weapon part, and we'll take the bullets, and we'll take the moonshine, I guess. I think I'm gonna take, or leave those other two behind. We'll take the tobacco with us, instead of the cigarettes, and we can just make our own. Okay, this makes it a little bit more worth it. We got four jewels, or four jewelry. We got four jewelry, so that will allow us to trade for a lot of things. And I'm kind of tempted to take some books with me. Uh, that could help with their morale, but we could also burn them possibly. Do they only stack up to two? They do. Um, if they stacked more, I would probably take them because we could turn them into fuel. And wood takes up only two slots, but if books stacked higher, it would be worth it to take them for fuel. Let's go ahead and we will take the tobacco. We can actually stack these and get two of them, so I might do that. Let's go ahead and go back in here. I think this is where the herbs were. Or the medical herbs or whatever they're called. Yeah, the medical herbs or the herbal meds, whatever, basically the same thing. We'll go ahead and take those and finish up that stack. And I think pretty much the only things I'm going to do now is fill up the rest of my stuff with, or fill up the rest of my inventory with components maybe. I might take more of these because I do need them. I should have checked how much wood I have. I'm really not sure how much I have anymore. So I'm going to go ahead though. I'm going to go around. I'm going to loot things. Figure out exactly what I want to take. And then I will show you my inventory before the end of the night. Alright, so this is what my inventory is looking like. I'm really tempted to leave this behind. But I know that we need them for the enforced door. And I'm not sure if we have enough right now. Which is the only reason I'm thinking about taking it. But it doesn't stack up. There's only one left. And we could really use some more wood or components, but I'm not entirely sure. I think we're going to take it. We're going to get out of here. And we haven't been visited yet by a trader for a really long time. And so I'm thinking, where are you? Oh, he's going that way. I always forget he goes that way because he's just coming on the other way. So I'm thinking that we might be getting a trader soon. Hopefully we weren't attacked. <laughs> really hoping we weren't attacked. God dang it. We were attacked at night. Someone tried to rob us. They really meant business, but they didn't do much harm. Thankfully, we were all armed, was wounded, but the attackers didn't steal anything. 
we were able to defend ourselves. Was someone harmed? It just says blank there. <laughs> it doesn't say it. It doesn't actually say a name. Uh, let's see here. Slightly wounded. She was slightly wounded beforehand. Okay, I think... Oh, I think she was actually just sick. So maybe she got hurt. I don't know. That's weird. That's really weird. Okay, go ahead. Throw some more fuel in there. Um, we have two extra foods right now, so we don't need to eat, though. We only eat at the beginning of each episode. Let's go ahead, though. Before we have Marco sleep, we're going to go ahead and check out what we can make here. Dang it. We are four components short. So hopefully we get visited by a trader today. And we will be able to make this enforced door, which will help a lot with attacks. Even just by boarding up the walls like we did, we already are a little bit more defended. Go ahead and throw some more fuel on there. How much more do we have? I think that was the last of our fuel. We actually do have a decent amount of things that we can trade. We can trade the jewelry, which goes for a lot considering we have five of them. And... We also, we can make cigarettes right now, which I think is what I'm going to have Bruno do. Even though he's tired, I'm going to have you make us some cigarettes. How are we doing on water? We only have three. So I think tonight, if we run into water, I'm definitely going to be making that. We'll go ahead and get 16 of those rolling. And I think we also do, yeah, we have 24 herbs, which will allow us to make some crappy roll-up cigarettes. But they are still decent for trade, and they will make Bruno happier and a little less stressed because he will still have something to smoke. We're going to leave Katia in bed for the rest of the day, though, just because she's sick and slightly wounded now. I'm tempted. Oh, yeah. And that's another thing we can trade is the herbal medicine. I'm kind of tempted to have her take one of those, but I already gave her pills. I don't know why she hasn't gotten any better. And we are just going to. Ooh, are you a trader? Hey, I have something you'll like. I think he is. Even though you are really screwed up right now, Katia, you have bargaining skills. So you're going to sprint up here and you are going to trade for us and hopefully we can get some stuff okay what exactly do we need we need water we could go for one more weapon part and then we'll have a gun and then we're pretty good on food actually like i said we need water we could go for some more wood and some more components and if he has any fuel we'll also take that because i mean why not Okay, let's see here. He does have bullets, so that would help us out. He does not have any weapon parts, though, which really sucks. He does have a little bit of wood and a few components and, of course, fuel. Okay, let's see here. We are going to... We'll put one of these down and see what we can take. Okay, so he won't even take the bullets for that. What about that? Okay. Oh, no. Not that much. Not that many. Okay, so we will take that, and then we will take as many components and things as we can take. And, okay, that's too many. Can we take any of the wood? No. Okay, so for two of our jewels, we are going to get 12 components, 5 bullets, which I think is pretty good. So, we're going to go ahead and deal with that. And then we're going to trade a little bit more. Now, I want to check this. I'm pretty sure I checked this last time he traded with me. But I'm going to try this again. So right now we can get three wood for one jewel, one piece of jewelry. But how many of these can we take? We can take, we can still only take three. Um, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and take wood, even though it's kind of one less step for us. If we just take fuel, I'm still going to only take wood. So that way I can use it for other things and I don't take too much fuel or take fuel that I don't really need hold on before we do that how are we sitting with stuff so we have 34 and 15 let's go ahead can you stop that for just a second Bruno I want to see what do we need for this okay we're actually already sitting well but that will put us down to zero wood and only four components so we will take a little bit more of each and we will see more wood than components I think we will take that and see if we can even buy all of that with our gems. And we can't. Okay, uh, so we can do one more for three gems. And I think we will go ahead and maybe sell a couple cigarettes to him. I don't know what they're going for right now. And we also have this moonshine. So we're going to go ahead and deal with that. 
and then we'll go back and we'll put this on the table and see how many components we can get for that. And we can actually get a decent amount. I didn't think we would be able to get this much. I think the alcohol is going for more than the jewelry right now. Okay, so if we put a couple cigarettes down, say five cigarettes, and I think he's still making more right now, how much more can we get? Can we completely clear him out? And we can. And, okay, so we can take one wood there. Is there anything else that we would want, maybe instead of components and wood? I don't know that there is. We already took his bullets. Of course, there's fuel, but wood goes for the same amount as fuel. I don't think we need any of these right now. I think we're good, actually. Uh, yeah, I don't think we really need any more of this. And then just to check, is there anything maybe we can get? No. Uh, does he have water? He doesn't have water. Okay. We will take one sugar cube then, and we will say deal to that. You can go away now, good sir. And we actually still had more things to trade, but I don't think he really had anything else that we needed. Now, how are we sitting? So we have 55 and 25 which is great. I think that's a really decent amount of components. And this trip out, I don't think we'll have to focus quite as much on the components and the wood as we have. And let's go ahead and get over here. Okay, we're gonna let him sleep actually. Marco will make the door for us. And then once we make the door, I think we will be good to go and we will end the night. Go ahead and do that. We actually do need to make more fuel. Yeah, we need to make more fuel. And we're still one weapon part short. If we get just one more weapon part, then we will be able to make the gun. And then we already have a couple bullets going for us. But with this door, we're definitely going to be a little bit safer. I know the game, because I have finished this game completely. But it's been a really long time. And I know near the end of the game, things get really rough. Once winter is over, um, the raids get really bad and you need a gun. There's like no way around it. You need a gun. So he is done with that. We're going to go ahead and have him make just a little bit more fuel. He didn't close the door. What's the point of having a door if you leave it open, Marco? And let's go ahead and use... Let's see here. I guess we will use wood? We're going to be lower on wood again then. But that is okay. We'll go ahead and make five. That'll take him about an hour. Alrighty, Marco is done with the fuel. We'll go ahead and add one more to our furnace. And then we will go ahead and end the day. Hoping that... Do we... Will we unlock any new places? No, we won't. Because we went back to the gas station. So our only option for a new place to go is the shelled school. The school has been shelled several times. Unfortunately, most of the cellars have collapsed. So it might be a good idea to bring a shovel and maybe some other tools. They say some homeless people have taken refuge inside the building. So, hmm. So we should probably take our shovel and our crowbar. We're going to go ahead, let Katya sleep. We'll have Bruno guard. And we're going to go here. I don't know, do I want to bring both of these? I don't necessarily have to take the shovel. It's going to save me on time though. And I probably do need to bring the crowbar to unlock things. You know what? We'll probably end up revisiting this place. Or I have a feeling we're probably going to end up visiting this place a couple times. So we'll go ahead and take both of them. And if we need to visit again, we do. So we'll go ahead and go in here. Because there's homeless people living here, I'm assuming we're gonna be alright until, or unless we steal some of their stuff. Assuming that they have some private property. Wow, this is uh, really underwhelming. And it's locked from the other side. <laughs> this stuff that we're finding so far is kind of underwhelming that we found an electrical part. And a little bit of wood. Okay, here's a pile that we can dig through. There's a couple piles. Let's see what we can get to before we have to dig through things, though. Can we get through here? And there's another pile of stuff. So let's dig through this real quick. That was definitely much, much faster with the shovel. Uh, kind of glad that I brought it. But it does suck that it takes up another inventory slot. Let's go ahead. We'll take all of this. Right now, we're just going to take what we can get. Because so far, this is rather underwhelming. There's not that much stuff here. I didn't think that... I guess I didn't really read the description as to what was here. So I don't know. Maybe there's just like nothing really here. We'll look through the whole thing though. It is kind of a big place so I might skip around a little bit. 
We'll take all of that, check out this place. Be able to drop down through here. Maybe I can skip a couple of the rubble piles by jumping down here. But I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna look through the whole place. And if I run into anything interesting, I'll show you. But if the whole thing is just gonna be me finding crappy piles of stuff like this, it might not be super worth it. So I'm gonna check out this place real quick. Alrighty, I have checked out a majority of the school up top. There is an area that's covered by grates, but now I am underground, kind of in the basement of the school, and I'm finding some more stuff. Yeah, I've ran into a couple places that are really full with materials, but I really haven't ran into anything too impressive yet. Just really wooden components. Oh, this is good. This is really good. However, I don't know that I'm gonna take it. I will probably come back because this place definitely has a lot of materials. This is the first place that I've actually unlocked. I've dug through a couple piles of rubble, but haven't found anything doing it. And uh, yeah, this is the first place that I have unlocked though. Let's go ahead and check out this place. There are homeless people around here. However, they don't bother me. So we're all good. I am full on those. I found a couple more electrical parts. Can I jump down through here? Oh, and I can. Look at that. Okay, so yeah, this is the first time I've ran into this. So the little hand with the diamond means that it's a personal item. So if you take it, then they will probably get mad at me, which uh, I don't want to happen. So let's go ahead and keep looking through here. Like I said, though, that I, uh, I ran into an area with some barred up windows or a barred up door or whatever that we need the saw for so i might end up making another saw i'm not sure haven't found any weapon parts which sucks i'm gonna leave those behind is there anything in this fridge is there better stuff in this fridge maybe okay there's water which i didn't need water so i'm gonna leave behind some of the wood and take the water it's kind of weird they're uh, storing the components and their wood <laughs> and the refrigerator but it's cool i don't judge let's continue looking through here check out this table there's another personal item thing here uh, i don't have any inventory space for that so that's a personal item plus it's behind a door so we can't get to it anyways let's go ahead and go back up top i think this is pretty much what i'm going to take i don't think there's really any other area for me to explore I will show you where the bars are. I think we're going to come back tomorrow. Maybe here it is right here. Maybe with another saw blade. Although I do really want to get a gun. So I'm not sure. So we can go through this area. But I don't know if it would be worth going into that area. Let's just check our backpack real quick. Make sure our stacks are piled up. I don't... We definitely need more wood compared to components. So I think I will leave those there. Um, yeah, I think that I think this is what I'm gonna take so we'll go ahead and end the run I don't know if it's worth it to make a saw blade though to get into that area because if we make another saw blade That means we're just one more another weapon part short So that will make us two weapon parts short of a gun whereas right now we're only one So I'm not sure what I want to do. I don't know what I want to do but that is gonna be about it once we get in here. Hopefully we weren't attacked and we weren't. Katia is pale and coughing all the time. She looks severely sick. Oh no, Katia. Okay, so that's gonna be it. We're gonna have to deal with Katia's situation next episode, but that's gonna be it. Thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play This War of Mine. Please like and subscribe and all that stuff. And thank you. Goodbye.